सो आज के टॉपिक में हम लोग देखने वाले हैं पैरल पैरल ट्रांसमिशन सो दिस इज अ डायग्राम ऑफ योर पैरल ट्रांसमिशन ओके सो जस्ट वन मिनट ओके पैरल ट्रांसमिशन ओके सो हियर इन पैरल ट्रांसमिशन ऑफ डेटा ओके पैरल ट्रांसमिशन ऑफ डेटा ऑल द बीट्स ऑफ बाइट्स आर transmitted simultaneously on separate wires okay uh, so here uh, uh, in parallel transmission of data all the me uh, hold on just one minute Okay, in parallel transmission of data, all the bits of bytes are transmitted simultaneously on separate wires. So here in this figure, you can see that this type of transmission require multiple wire for interconnecting the two device. Okay, here so to connecting wire multiple wires. Okay, so parallel transmission is possible practically only if the two device are close to each other due to the length and the number of wires required for example parallel transmission take place between computer and its printer okay example is to what i said here now uh, the type uh, this type of transmission require multiple wires right so parallel transmission is possible practically only if two devices are close to each other means example is uh, computer and printer so show this parallel in this figure the parallel transmission of 8 bits okay the parallel transmission of 8 bits 8 bit digital data right uh, this will require 8 wires so it is a 8 bit so it's require 8 wire here for connection between the transmitted and receiver uh, with increase in the number of receivers the number of wires will be increased to an unmanaged number agar 9 hoga then wire also will be increased so this is about the parallel transmission here so advantages of parallel transmission is the advantages of parallel transmission is that all the data bits will be transmitted simultaneously therefore the time required for the transmission of n bits word is only one clock cycle the serial transmission will require n number of clock cycle of transmission of word okay so here serial transmission will require n number of clock due to the this uh, clock frequency can be kept low without affecting the speed of operation serial transmission clock frequency has be high so this advantage is how this that the transmission n bit word we need n number of wires okay if we want to transmit n number of bits so we require the number of wires so it is the disadvantage is right we increase the number of wire of number of users the number of wires increase and it become impossible to handle them the serial transmission use only one wire for connecting the transmitter to receiver hence particularly the serial transmission is always preferred so this is in parallel transmissions the i gave the example printer and computer right so in this advantages if uh, number of wires required right uh, मीन इफ यूजर अगर ज्यादा यूजर को इफ दे वॉन्ट टू यूज कम्युनिकेट दे इट रिक्वायर द मोर वायर्स राइट बट इन सीरियल ट्रांसमिशन वॉट इन सीरियल ट्रांसमिशन द बिट्स ऑफ द बाइट आर सीरियली ट्रांसमिटेड वन बाय वन सो इन दिस फिगर यू कैन सी दैट द बाइट टू बी ट्रांसमिटेड इज फर्स्ट स्टोर इन इन अप रजिस्टर then these bits are shifted from msb to lsb msb to lsb means more significance bit to least significance bit okay lsb so here 
in serial transmission the bits of the bytes are serially transmitted one by one okay uh, so here uh, serial transmission uh, it's a one by one process is occur here so here the byte of trans uh, the byte the byte of the transmitted is the first store hmm, in the shift register then these bytes are shifted from msb to lsb bit by bit synchronization with the clock bit are shifted uh, right right bit are shifted to right here bits are shifted to right and which you can see in this figure okay so uh, uh, and uh, position per clock cycle the bit which falls out of the shift register is transmitted hence lsb is a transmitted first and msb is the last uh, bit generate transmitted getting transmitted for serial transmission only one wire is needed between the transmitter and receiver so uh, parallel transmission having uh, each user uh, need a uh, uh, separate wire but in serial transmission one wire is sufficient for receiver and uh, what sender so the bit which falls out the shift register is transmitted hence lsb that is the least significant bit is transmitted first and msb uh, is the bit uh, last bit getting transmitted for serial transmission only one wire is needed between the transmitter and receiver hence the serial transmission is preferred for long distance data so serial transmission is preferred the long distance data communication this is the advantages of the serial transmission over parallel transmission so this is the advantage most advantages right which what advantages here it prevents the long distance data communication right so here the serial transmission has serious drawback as only one bit is transmitted per clock cycle it requires a time corresponding uh, to eight clock cycle to transmit one byte the parallel transmission need only one clock cycle to transmit a bit the time can be reduced by increasing a clock frequency okay so uh, practical serial transmission system here this figure show the practical serial transmission system the transmitter and receiver both are computers okay transmitter and receiver both are computers so the communication since the communication within a computer is parallel it is necessary to convert parallel data into serial uh, one at the transmitter so here both are uh, receiver and transmitter both are computer so here communication with the computer in parallel parallel it is necessary to convert parallel data into serial one at the transmitter at the receiver the serial of to parallel conversion is required to be performed as like this means okay so this is a diagram of your uh, serial practical um, transmission here both are receiver and transmitter are, you can say the both are the computer here okay data in the serial form for uh, so here this is the parallel this is a msb and lsb most to list and parallel to serial convert and serial to parallel conversion is required for this purpose so advantages of the serial transmission is only one wire is required so this is advantages where we can see that in a parallel transmission uh, uh, many wires required right so that is the disadvantages uh, in parallel transmission but here only one wire is required to be used okay okay uh, and reduction is in cost due to the less number of conductor so here disadvantage is that the speed of data transfer is low as only one bit is sent at at a time and the disadvantage also in serial trans serial transmission system that uh, the uh, speed of data transfer is low so here uh, because of one byte speed of data transmission of course it will be low yeah, is a low as only one bit is sent at a time so here uh, the increasing the speed of data transfer it is necessary to increase the clock frequency if you want to increase speed data then need, need to increase frequency clock frequency okay so this is the disadvantages 
of uh, serial transmission system so application of is that it is a used for computer to computer communication this serial transmission system is used for serial computer to computer system right communication especially long distance communication so a uh, number of wires required to transmit n bits that is n wires okay in so here in parallel transmission serial transmission c okay so agar parallel transmission mein hum logo ko number of matlab number of wires is required to transmit n bits so parallel transmission mein agar number of n wires hai okay parameter mein to parallel transmission mein bhi number of n wires hi required hoti hai Tra transmit karne ke liye bit but in serial uh, transmission mein kya hai one wire sufficient for transmit the bit okay uh, so this is a difference uh, of parallel and serial right and in parameter uh, number of bit transmitted simultaneously so number of bit simultaneously transmitted in parallel transmission n bits required and in serial transmission of course one bit but uh, in parameter that is uh, in serial para, uh, parallel transmission speed of data transfer fast para, okay why because it's uh, taking the separate wire particular uh, bits right so of course it will be uh, fast but in case of serial transmission the bit the speed of data transfer is slow why because slow you can say because we are using one in um, on the one wire we are working right so cost parallel transmissions cost high due to more number of conductor we require more number of conductor so what of guess it will be high and in serial uh, transmission cost low since only one wire is used why because we are using one wire so it is a low okay application that is in parallel transmissions application is short distance communication such as computer to printer communication parallel transmission mein hum short distance ke communication we can do it and in uh, serial transmission long distance computer to computer communication bhi um, can be possible okay so this is a difference of uh, serial transmission and parallel transmission so types of transmission here so there are three types that is a uh, so sub type that is synchronized data transmission or synchronous data transmission okay and isosynchronous data transmission so a synchronous transmission in the in a synchronous transmission the transmission can be transmission of data byte at any instance of time only one byte is sent at a time after sending one byte next byte can be sent after arbitrary uh, time delay as shown in uh, this figure or synchronize okay so here in a synchronize first of all you know the meaning of synchronize and asynchronize and in many time we have discuss about synchronous and asynchronous so you have to understand you have to know this meaning okay you must know this meaning so here i will not repeat uh, this asynchronous and synchronous meaning so it's asynchronous transmission here uh in uh, asynchronous transmission the transmission can be the transmission of the data byte at any instance of time only only one byte is sent at a time okay As in asynchronous only one byte is sent at a time after sending one byte the next byte can be sent after an arbitrary time delay as we can see in this figure okay so the transmitter and receiver can operate at different clock frequency so yahan pe jo transmitter and receiver hai aur synchronization mein all the sir they using the different clock frequency there is a no synchronous between them uh, to on this account uh, so that's one minute okay so here okay uh, so you can say that uh, the data transmission can cover co comes at an instant it becomes difficult for the receiver to understand the instance at which uh, the byte has been transmitted to help the receiver to receive the data byte start and stop 
okay by start and stop bits are used and uh, along with each data bytes so the um, the start bit is always zero and stop bit is always one so here a start bit always zero and start bit always one okay so here you can see stop and start okay so a single transmission the ideal uh, time in between adjusts the data byte is not constant okay so the ideal time is also called as gaps between the data bytes in the asynchronous transmission the timing of the signal is not important instead of information is received the translate by the patterns which are agreed upon by sender and receiver as long as uh, these pattern are being follow the receiver can retrieve the information without any problem so why is call asynchronous the mechanism is called as asynchronous because at the byte level the sender and receiver do not have to synchronize to be synchronized so it's called the this mechanism is called uh, asynchronous because uh, the byte level the sender and receiver do not have single they both don't have the synchronous time so that's why it's called the asynchronous so however within each byte the receiver should be uh, should uh, still be synchronized with the incoming bit the this mean some synchronization is required only for the duration of single byte response to the start and stop bits so response to the start and stop bits this you can see here so when the receiver detect uh, the a start bit it will send a timer okay when this receiver detect the start bit it will send a time set a timer and being counting bit as they come in after n bits the receiver searches for the stop bit okay uh, then as so, soon as it detect the stop bit it will be wait until it detect the next start bit so the meaning of asynchronous is actually asynchronous at the byte level but the bits are still synchronized so their duration are same so this is about the asynchronous transmission then the block diagram of synchronous transmission okay so here the block diagram of synchronous transmission start bits are zero stop bits are one you can show this in figure so in this figure uh, that is a asynchronous transmission the use of the use of start and stop data the bits and gaps ideal time that is between address data unit will make the asynchronous transmission slow this is the major disadvantages of using the start and stop bits so disadvantages of asynchronous transmission is additional bits additional bits call start and stop bits are required to be used it is difficult to determine the sampling instance hence the timing error can be uh, can take place the start and stop bits uh, ideal time that is gap time makes the asynchronous transmission slow so advantages of asynchronous transmission is synchronization between the trans transmitter and receiver is not necessary so this is advantage that is a, uh, what uh, synchronization between time transmitter and receiver is not necessary uh, it is a possible to transmit single uh, signal from the source having different bit rates uh, the transmission can co commerce as soon as the data byte to be transmitted become available this mode of transmission is easy to implement it is cheap scheme it is a effective scheme okay then application of personal transmission is the connection of the keyboard to computer is an example of syndrome the connection of keyboard okay to co computer computer ka keyboard ka jo connection hai ye ek example hai asynchronization transmission ka i hope ki asynchronous transmission now we will get with the help of example also so synchronization transmission so the synchronous transmission is carry out under the control of form common maker master clock so yahan pe the synchronization transmission is a carry out under the control of common master clock okay so here bits which are be, uh, being transmitted are synchronized to refer the clock 
okay no start and stop bits are used instead instead the bytes are transmitted as a block in a continuous stream of bit so in this figure in synchronous transmission you can see that there is a inter block idle time which filled with idle character okay the receiver operates uh, at exactly uh, the same clock frequency as that of transmitter as both are synchronization with each other each other this system essential for uh, error free reception of data flag is a sequence of fixed number of bits which is prefer to each block as shown uh, this figure okay so you can see in this figure right flag is there flag is a sequence of fixed number of bits which is prefixed to the each block Uh, flag uh, is useful in a identity identify the being uh, being beginning of clock. So flag ye clock ki is uh, beginning ko identify karne ke liye hum we are using here. So in this synchronization transmission, the bit stream uh, to be transmitted is a uh, co combined into long frames. A frames will contain more than one byte. The there is a no gap between uh, successive frames. The receiver separates the bit stream into bytes for the purpose of decoding. You know the encoding and decoding, right? Uh, the start and stop bits are not used. Instead of bit are transmitted uh, serially one after other. The grouping of this bit is responsible of the receiver. So the synchronization transmission. This is a block diagram of the synchronization transmission. So in this diagram, you can see. Uh, that uh, the blocks scheme of synchronization transmission note uh, the absence of gaps and start stop bits so advantages of this the speed transmission is much higher than that a synchronous transmission this is uh, due to uh, the absence of gaps between the data units absence of start stop bits start and stop bits are not needed anymore timing um, errors are reduced due to the synchronization. So disadvantages of uh, block diagram is the timing is a uh, very important. Uh, the accuracy of the receiver data is dependent I early on on the ability of the receiver to count the receive receive uh, bits accurately. The transmitter and receiver have uh, have to operate at the same clock frequency. This requires proper synchronization which make the system complicated so application of trans synchronous transmission uh, the uh, synchronization um, the synchronization transmission due to the its high speed is used for data exchange uh, one computer to another so synchronization the bit synchronization is achieved at the data link layer level of for synchronous transmission between computer so difference between asynchronous and synchronous transmission is synchronization no needed a synchronization trans means asynchronization mein synchronization ki needed nahi hoti hai this is the first uh, parameter and in synchronization transmission synchronization is required uh, in asynchronization transmission, start and stop bits uh, use in asynchronization, but in synchronization transmission, start and stop bit not used. In asynchronization transmission, gap between data blocks present. Okay, so between the gaps, uh, data blocks present in asynchronization transmission and in synchronization transmission, upset gaps between data blocks is upset. Asynchronous transmission speed is slow and synchronization transmission speed is high. Application of the asynchronous, asynchronous transmission is communication between computer and keyboard. This is the application of asynchronization transmission means every use. And in, us, uh, in synchronization transmission, communication between two computers. So here uh, communication occurs between two computers in synchronous and communication between keyboard and computers occurring asynchronous transmission so this is about the
competition of uh, synchronous and asynchronous. Here we see that here synchronization, no need, uh, no, no need of synchronization in asynchronization transmission and synchronization is required in synchronous transmission. So this is about synchronous and asynchronous transmission. So, so ISO, ISO, hold on, this is the third type of serial transmission in the real time streaming of audio and video. ISO, ISO Chronos, it's the audio and video is the example. The time delay introduced during the transmission must remain constant. An event time delay will introduce this um, dissolution. Such application, we cannot use the synchronous serial transmission usefully. The asynchronous transmission can be used such application, okay? Digital, digital to analog conversion. We have already seen digital to analog conversion here. So let's draw, draw the diagram first. Okay, so digital. Digital to Okay, one minute. Digital to analog conversion. Digital to analog. Okay, so for this purpose, we want this uh, one minute. So this is a diagram of digital to analog conversion. You are so. Here we require this, uh, but this is a digital, you know the uh, meaning of digital and analog, right? Um, what is a digital and what is analog, right? We have already seen this uh, difference and um, difference between analog and digital, what the name of uh, why we digital means what and analog means what uh, signals performance of digital and uh, analog, right? We have uh, seen in um, starting of the point only. So this is a digital data. Okay, digital data. And this is the analog data here. After this, this is the analog. Okay. Analog. So here, digital data here, analog signal. Okay, so here, this uh, digital data will be um, convert which form in this form okay wait uh, like this Okay, so the in analog signal is forms uh, where form and digital is uh, which we have studied already. Okay, uh, a non-continuous form. So, uh, so digital to analog, the two most important aspect related D to A means digital to analog conversion are as uh, started means data element ver uh, versus single element. Data rate versus single rate. Data element versus single element. That is, we may define data element as the smallest piece of information that can be exchanged, and we, uh, as we know it, it is bit. The single element is a is classified, defined as the smallest unit of single. That is a constant. This def definition is a true in the digital convert, but the single will be analog there uh, here hence the nature nature of the signal element is uh, silently slightly different than uh, that for the digital transmission so data uh, versus single that is uh, look like this okay we have to do this only. okay here only see n the formula of data and single element is n into 1 by 8. Sorry, 1 by R. 
okay so we have defined the data rate bit rate and single rate the bound rate uh, earlier uh, the relation between them is for the single rate that is a uh, uh, s equal to single rate okay s equal to okay Sign uh, signal rate uh, that is s equal to n upon uh, in n into r um, n into 1 upon uh, r so n is nothing but n is nothing but data rate okay data rate that and r is r is nothing but number of data element number of data element number of data elements in one signal okay elements in one signal okay uh, one signal element So the value of R in the analog transmission as follow that is R log to L, where L is a type of signal element. So note bit rate is equal to number of bit per second. Bound rate is equal to number of signal element of symbol per second. In the analog communication uh, communication of digital data, bit rate is always greater than the equal to the bound rate. So in next lecture we will discuss the example of this bandwidth. Okay, uh, and we will see the need of digital conversion wire modulation, types of digital carrier modulation. Okay, so okay, so today's lecture over here. Thank you.